Hi there, guys. I saw the leaked Death Adder V3 Pro online recently, and um, I have some thoughts on it looking at the images that I wanted to talk about. I'm a super long term Death Adder user. I use the Chroma and the Elite before the V2, which I use now. Overall, for me, it is probably the most comfortable shape that I have used. Uh, I have my gripes of it, which I'll get into, but um, really comfortable mouse. Uh, for context, I have 19.5 by 10.5 centimeter hands, and uh, I am a palm gripper or a perhaps relaxed fingertip gripper. Um, and what I mean by that is I take the uh, center center hump here and I align that to the crease at the base of my fingers, and uh, then I align my thumb to this groove here, and then I just kind of rest my ring and pinky finger down along the right side. So that's my preferred grip style. I'm not a fan of claw grip myself, which is part of why I love this shape because for larger hands or medium to large-ish hands, it's very, very comfortable. And I think really only the, the EC2 or the EC1 kind of comes close or perhaps the Naga because I do love the uh, ring pink, ring finger and pinky rest that those mice have on them and it seems underrated. But uh, you know, to me, very few mice do that these days. But anyway, uh, some of the changes they're making here, assuming that this is real, uh, look really cool to me. I love the split trigger switches, for example, and the material they're using. It, it kind of looks like a similar material to the Superlight, which uh, is almost like a soft touch plastic or rubber feeling material. And it's my favorite coating that I, I've seen on a, on a mouse. Yes, yeah, so that would be a really cool change. But before I get into any of that, I want to talk about... Um, really what I like about the current Death Adder shape and the things that I am worried about on the new one and, and kind of the changes I would like to see in a Death Adder successor. So for starters, the main thing I love about this mouse is this whole back hump area to, to me is just perfect. Um, I really like the way that it wraps your ring and pinky finger down around the side. It's very comfortable. I feel like I've got enough room for it. And I find this back right hump more supportive than something like the EC1 hump. And the EC1 has its own advantages, uh, you know, to each their own and all that. I'm not saying it's worse in an objective sense, but I just really love this back hump area. To me, the whole back half of this mouse is just spot on perfect, and I love it. The things that uh, annoy me about the current Death Adder that I would like to see changed are one, when I hold the mouse, uh, how it's comfortable for me. My fingers do kind of come off the end of the clicks a little bit. Um, so I would personally like if they sort of lengthened out the front a little, because that's just annoying. That doesn't actually happen on the Zowie EC1, because it is a bit of a longer mouse. Um, the other problem I have, and probably the biggest problem I have, is this furthest forward side button. I have never found comfortable to reach, ever. I, I do not like how it's positioned. Um, I don't like that they sized it to be smaller than the back button. And if I could make one change to this mouse, it would just be taking these buttons and then moving them backwards a smidge. On the side of the mouse and you could do that by probably rotating it you know rotating those buttons a little on this axis and that that would just tremendously improve my experience um because and i don't know why mice manufacturers don't um see it this way i guess but when you move your thumb backwards to uh to reach this button it, it's a lot easier than moving it forwards because you can bend your thumb at the hinge um, and you, or you can just use your joints to kind of shift the thumb back. But if, if your thumb is resting here, let's say just naturally, and you need to reach this button, the only way to do that is actually to shift your entire grip forward. And it's really uncomfortable. And in practice, I just never end up using this button. And um, I can live with two side buttons, but I can't really live with one. Or I guess I have lived with it for a long time, but it really bothers me. Um, the other problem I have is, and this is actually a regression on the V2 in my mind from the Elite, on the Elite, you did not have this giant, you know, plastic bar in the center. It was just the two DPI buttons, and they were pressed right up against the wheel. And I prefer that because, one, it just kind of takes up less space, you know, this wasted gap. Um, but also, it's easier to reach, I find, during real gameplay when it's closer to the wheel. Um, so I preferred how they did that on the Elite myself. These these buttons themselves actually feel great to press. I just, you know, they need to get rid of this. They need to shrink the spike bar so it's just the size buttons and push it right up against the wheel like it was on the Elite. Um, the flare is something that's very controversial on the Death Adder. A lot of people online have a distaste for it. Um, I I like it, actually, quite a lot because uh, I have pretty thick fingers. Um, so you've got these big comfort grooves here. You've got a really wide front end, and it's just really comfortable to rest your fingers down. The left flare does not matter at all in any capacity because your thumb is never going to be resting this far forward. Um, it just doesn't. I mean, it's... 
my my thumb probably rests kind of around here. So unless you have like a, I, I don't think I've ever met someone that would have that holds the mouse where their thumb would be here. Um, so I, to me, this one's just kind of irrelevant. Um, and then on this side, I think what a lot of people don't realize looking at the images is they've actually flattened out the bottom uh, underneath the flare on the V2. So um, from a comfort standpoint, it's never been a problem to me unless you're holding the mouse for your ring finger um, and your pinker finger are just like, you know, way past the mouse. I, I do not find it uncomfortable, um, you know, in the way that the images would, would suggest. So I don't have a problem with that. To me, the the overall shape on the current one is is virtually perfect and I don't really want them to change it. Um, and I think that's kind of the core concern I have for the new one is they are kind of reducing the dramatic flares and curves that the Death Adder is kind of known for. And especially this right side, they seem to be straightening out quite a lot and they're changing the uh, way that the back hump works. And that worries me a lot because to me, this whole back hump area is, is just the best that I've used on any mouse. And I love it and it's perfect for my hands. And I find on a lot of mice, especially ones with flatter right sides, I just don't feel like the way that I hold the mouse. I feel like there's not enough support um, for my hand. I feel like there's not enough room, especially on smaller ergos, to comfortably rest my fingers down um, for long periods of time. And um, a lot of those, like the even the EC1 or the EC2, I kind of feel like my my ring and pinky finger want to wrap under the mouse <laughs> rather than kind of resting comfortably along the side. Um, and the Death Adder is, is better about that on the current shape than, than other mice in my experience. So I don't want them to change the overall shape of the mouse at all. I just want them to lengthen out the, the, the front of smidge, um, shift these buttons back, you know, kind of fix the DPI button placement. Um, and, you know, if, if, if I'm making a wish list, you know, sure, give me high quality split trigger switches. I would love that. You know, make the outside coating and material the same as a super light because that just feels amazing. If they don't do that with the material, if this is just white paint, for example, the current Death Letter has this subtle texturing to the shell, which I think is really comfortable. Um, I've gone back and forth on the rubberized grips on the side. I know the Pro kind of did a universal material for the whole side, whereas the V2 just has it on this one part, and I think it's a different material they went with. So the Pro, I've heard it's better on that front, which I haven't used yet. But um, my big concern is usually, so usually I find, what's the appeal of a flatter right side? Usually I find that mice with a flatter right side are more comfortable to claw grip, at least for me. So I imagine that's kind of what they're doing is they're trying to make it more appealing to people that have issues with the current death adder shape and that find it uncomfortable claw. And I, I kind of had to take back what I said in the old days. because I used to be like, oh, well, you can claw the death adder, but it's not very comfortable to me to claw, um, which is fine because I don't like that grip style anyway. The EC2 or something like that is, or the outset, I, I find much more comfortable to claw, or even the EC1, I find more comfortable to claw. So... I would, if I am guessing based on the images, I would guess that you know this new version is probably going to be more comfortable for claw grip users. I also think a lot of people's distaste for the flare, they're probably responding to that kind of feedback and changing that. Um, it's hard to tell based on the buttons whether this will really be more comfortable. It looks like they're changing it to be more like the EC1 button placement. It doesn't really look like they've rotated them around the hump, you know, backwards much, and that worries me a bit. Uh, but you know, hopefully it can't be worse than how it is now. Um, wheels perfect on Death or v, V2 to me, so I hope they just do a continuation of that. And, um, you know, I'll probably end up buying when it comes out anyway, you know, assuming that this is real and all that, but I almost feel like this looks more like a Mamba successor than a Death Adder one, and I worry, I worry a bit that they are changing the mouse kind of for people that have issues and don't really like the current Death Adder shape, rather than trying to build and improve off of, you know, what they have for the people that do love the current shape, and you know, perhaps I'm wrong about that. Time will tell. Uh, I look forward to trying it in any case. But uh, those are just my thoughts. That's my wish list for the current Death Adder. And, you know, here's hoping it pans out. I don't have a problem with the current weight of the Death Adder V2. You know, a lot of people just want to go as light as possible. And I, I, I can understand that rationale. Um, I guess what I have found is I feel like heavier mice, like really large, bulky, heavy mice, I feel like they're almost a little more stable in the sense that. I don't feel like I'm going to overshoot everything if I have a higher sensitivity in games. Whereas I feel like the really small, super light mice, I often feel like, wow, okay, I got to drop my sensitivity down. You know, um, for, for context, I use, you know, 26 centimeters per 360. And then I standardize that with calculators across the different FPS games that I play. Um, so I guess that's, 
uh, for context in a game like Overwatch, that's about six point six seven something in that range at eight hundred DPI. But anyway, neither here nor there. Just for context. Um, but yeah, thanks for your time. I really hope this turns out, and I I hope, man, it would be the dream to me if they made all those changes to Death Adder that I want. Uh, I think I'd just buy them for the rest of my life, and I'd be a happy camper. But uh, anyway. Thanks for your time, guys. Have a good one.